So the Arkansas House Committee was hearing, um, was considering passing three different bills. Now, since it's Arkansas and it's a red state, uh, the only thing that ever passes ever is tax cuts, of course. That's their answer to everything. So the tax cuts were, there were three different tax cuts proposed. One of them was for um, a capital gains exemption, and another one was for the top income tax rate, and then a third one was a tax cut for the poor, a tax break for the poor. Now, you want to take a guess which tax cuts passed and which didn't? Do I even have to say it? The two tax cuts for the rich passed. The one for the poor didn't. So why do I tell you this story? Now, this is right in line with, uh, you know, some economic news that I come out here every day and give you. But why do I tell you this today? And why do I tell you this now? It goes back to a theme, and I've yet to hear anybody else bring this up, right? And I know there are a lot of uh, progressive talkers out there that are great. Uh, the people I'm a partner with, the Young Turks, they're fantastic. And, of course, there's uh, Tom Hartman, who does a great job. And there's all, uh, David Packman, a whole bunch of others, right? But I've yet to hear anybody make the point that I'm about to make and hammer it home repeatedly. You want to know which party is the party of tax cuts? The Democrats are the party of tax cuts. There, I said it, right? No, that, no, you don't understand. I, that's provable. That's, I, can, I can verify that, right? So I'll just give you a couple of examples. Barack Obama in his first term, he had uh, 16 small business tax cuts. 16 small business tax cuts were passed in his first term. 16 small business tax cuts. Okay, that's point number one. Uh, point number two. If you go back and look at the, the proposed plans from all of the, the presidents and presidential candidates, going all the way back to Ronald Reagan, uh, you'll see that there's always uh, an in-depth analysis done of the tax proposals. And what is found inevitably is that for all the Democratic candidates, between 95% and 99% of the American people get a bigger tax break under the Democratic president than they would under the Republican president. So in other words, you know what that means? That means the Republicans say, yeah, just like Mitt Romney used to say, literally, lower the rates, broaden the base. Nobody ever digs into that. What does broaden the base mean? Broaden the base means make poor people pay more in taxes, make middle pe class people pay more in taxes, right? So they don't come out and say to you, oh, hey, I want your taxes to be raised, right? But if you look at their plan, their, their tax proposal, the way that they want to tweak the tax code, it inevitably, across the board, is always the Republicans want to raise taxes for 99% of Americans and cut taxes for 1% of Americans, and the Democrats want to do the opposite. The Democrats want to cut taxes for 99% of Americans and raise taxes for the top 1%, right? And oftentimes they cave further and they only raise taxes on the top 0.05 or 0.01%, right? So you tell me, look, I'm not the best, I'm not the most brilliant guy at math in the world. In fact, I'm pretty bad at math. But if one party wants to cut taxes for 99% of Americans versus the other party wants to cut taxes for 1% of Americans, which party want is the party of tax cuts? I would say the party that wants to cut taxes for 99% of Americans. Now look, there are some very smart, brilliant, intelligent people who might just flat out disagree with me and say, you know what, Kyle, we need to rework the framing of the argument and get away from the idea that tax cuts are always right. And they have a point. But I think that point is more of a long-term point. And you might need to hammer away at that over a, a few decades time span. In terms of tax cuts the way they're viewed today, I mean, the rod is so deep, there's no turning back. I mean, the Republicans have waged uh, a war where uh, basically they harp away on tax cuts and they always portrayed it as if the Democrats are going to raise your taxes, we're going to cut it, that's why you vote for us, end of story, right? But the Democrats should steal that trick. Again, you don't even need to necessarily reframe it. In the long run, you can reframe it, and that's fine. But for today, for now, no. You go out there, and when the Republicans say, we're the party of tax cuts, they're the party of tax hikes, you say, no, bitch, we are the party of tax cuts, you are the party of tax cuts, and, and, and here's, our, here's our proof right here.